Hi, I'm Karen Pearman. I'm here at SMT Connect with What's New in Electronics. And I'm joined by Miles Moreau from Kick, General Manager. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Uh, doing well. Uh, we're really interested to see how well attended this show is going to be, kind of with the last couple of shows, because we're kind of coming out of uh, the intensity of the pandemic that uh, seeing customers face to face more and more so it's exciting and it is fantastic to be able to do that again and not over zoom yeah. so tell me in terms of your supply chain and how that's impacted kick and from a global perspective how would you see that in the next few months well, ahead directly for us it's been a bit challenging this past year even with some of uh, our materials and components that we use in our equipment um, but we've been able to overcome them, uh, but that, that's taken a, a large effort from our engineering and everything. Uh, but we've been able to maintain uh, kind of low, uh, short lead times, not, not too bad on that, and be able to provide our customers with the solutions they need. And then our customers uh, have been able to utilize some of our solutions and the features of them um, to help because they kind of have a start and stop of when they do get supplies in, they immediately have to build uh, production. And some of our features around uh, the reflow process and weight process are able to help them uh, shorten the time it takes to get a product up to speed and the setup on the equipment. Um, so a combination of, of both things kind of helps them step through this kind of start and stop production based on when are they going to get components in? Uh, and as soon as they have a new product and components in, they need to start up production fast, and then they can utilize some of our solutions we have. So. so, in terms of your next steps, in terms of the next year ahead, where do you see Kick being? Well, the we see the demand is there, right? Uh, the demand, uh, the consumer demand for products is there, um, and our. Our customers, the electronic manufacturers, have the demand. It's all this start and stop that really uh, makes it challenging. But uh, I think we see, especially in Europe, is there's more capacity in the, in the long term going to be added here. That supplies are going to be and, and manufacturing is going to be more regional rather than everything based in Asia. So we're starting to see more and more business come back uh, to the U.S., uh, to Europe uh, and utilizing our systems, our customers are able to now, when they add a manufacturing line or they're adding more products to their manufacturing, is to quickly get up to speed on the setup and then how do they integrate and use the data that, that KIC provides um, in a meaningful way so they can mm -hmm. act on that data. Um, and that's where our, our products this year is not uh, like a, a new piece of equipment, mm -hmm. it's actually the data. So uh, the big push from Industry 4.0 for the last decade, and it's getting more and more mature, is how do you uh, have actionable tasks off of the data, and how do you automate that? Um, so that's our kind of theme for the year, uh, if you will, uh, is, is taking our systems and being able for the customer to integrate it into the factory. So in terms of counterfeit products and things like that, does that ever enter the supply chain? Do you ever have to have those? Well, with our, with our, with our system, uh, we don't deal as much with uh, that part of the process. And that's what, one thing unique about uh, when you're talking about reflow and soldering is every other part of the, ma the main part, say printing, mm -hmm. uh, placement, you actually have materials going on the product. So they're adding materials each step. Well, in the reflow process, you're adding heat. Right? There's no new material, you're just mm -hmm. adding heat. So uh, we don't deal with the material itself, uh, but the quality of the process on reflow. How is that heat applied? So then when the board comes out of the oven and the components are soldered, how does the customer know that that, that was done properly? can inspect on solder paste right. through, through optical inspection, same with placement, and then at the end of the line. But reflow is kind of unique in that 
what's being applied there is heat. So our system is creating a profile uh, and calculating the profile when the product exits. And now what we've done this year is we're releasing a SDK, a software development kit, with an API that can allow our customers on their own, without our, our help or software development, is to link our data to their factory system. And then, through all this inspection data on all the processes, they can make automated decisions on, okay, this is what happened on the print and the placement combined with the profile data. Now, okay, are we gonna see defects soon? Mm -hmm. And they can prevent defects from happening by this set of data and this automation. So this SDK that we're offering to the market this year will allow our customers to get the SDK, the software development kit, and be able to pull the data from the kick system that they need. And it's, all, it's kind of like a custom solution for them. Yeah. Uh, do it yourself at a low cost. So it, uh, we think that's gonna add a lot of value I think it's the customer journey, right? It's that the quality, it's knowing how it, it is and how it comes, the end yes. result. Yep, and then their customers, right? They're yeah. building for the Mercedes, BMW, yeah. and all them require that kind of information. Absolutely. So now they're, they're secure and I'm, okay, I'm manufacturing this way and I can prove to my end customer that everything was built properly with high quality. Miles, thank you so much your time today i really hope you have a fantastic oh, show i appreciate it it's thank great you, to be back in nuremberg and no doubt we'll see you again soon okay thank Take you care. Bye.